Hallo, hallo, hallo. Ik ben aan het kijken of ik jullie kan vinden. Hi everyone. Yes. <laughs> hey Michelle, good to see you. So, let me see if everything is okay. Hi, yes. <laughs> We're good, I think. Can you all hear me to start with? <laughs> A very important question because I'm always having trouble with going live. Hi Chantal, Saskia, Belinda, Anja, Wilma. Hi, hi. <laughs> hi Ans. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> well, I will show it to you, Michelle. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> hi everyone. Okay. To start with, I have a note somewhere here with the winner of the $50 gift certificate. And that's uh, this week, Christy Borfitz. Christy, congratulations. Christy Borfitz, I hope I pronounced your name uh, correctly. Um, you win a $50 gift certificate and please contact uh, uh, info at eCraft Designs uh, to claim your gift certificate. So that's okay. Ah, everybody can hear me, so we are good to go. I will change um, my camera view so you can also see my desktop, my working space. And um, yeah, we're good to go. Okay, what I've got here. Uh, hey, David. Hi, Ina. Hi, Jennifer. Okay, um, last week I started to make some uh, pages with the die set from the, the summer special where Annette did the workshop with. So, for those of you who haven't seen uh, that live, it was on my YouTube channel. So, if you want, you can still watch it uh, on my channel. Uh, what I did last week, uh, I made these pages. So, total four pages <coughs> using um, um, the set from uh, the workshop kit. So, that's this one. And I added some uh, other elements too from other sets and I used some uh, elements from the wave pocket and I used some of the rounded corner page like an element like this um, before I forget I am not feeling really well at the moment so um, if I have to stop I have to stop I'm here and I hope it all goes well but um, you might be warned um, no, I'm just warning you, if I suddenly uh, move, <laughs> then it's no good and I will be back next week. <laughs> so hopefully uh, I will be here for the whole hour. So um, these are the pages I did last week. So here uh, I made a little pocket so you can tuck something in. Hi Cindy, welcome, welcome. Hi Yona. Hi Terry, good to see you too. Here I used um, those little strips from the set, so you can make your own pockets, you know, the little strip over here. There's also a long one. I don't know where, oh, it's, it's been tucked away on the, so this one is over here, and the short one I used over there. Yeah, thank you, Clementine, thank you. Um, and I made pockets out of those too. Oh, here we go. <laughs> If it all goes well, yes, that's another pocket. Here I made another pocket for two of those cards. I did cut this this one out last week, and here's uh, one of the mats. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one, but okay, I will see that later on. Uh, I did print some pictures, and to stay a little bit in the same theme for this month, uh, I again used a black and white picture. So this is. Uh, my journal for week 26, 27, and this is going to be 28 and probably 29 somewhere here. So first I need a picture for this one. I need a picture over here. I can do some journaling over there. Um, maybe a picture here and of course some pictures over there. So that's what I'm going to start with. And my idea was, yeah, where is it? Oh, yeah, to use this picture. Um, my granddaughter, <laughs> I'm not sure if you're able to see it, but um, 
couple of weeks ago it was really warm over here and we went to a village nearby and in the village they have those big fountains uh, in the middle of the village and there were all children playing over there so it's quite fun to go there sometimes instead of going to the beach or to a swimming pool uh, just go to, to the city center over there to the village center and there are a lot of children playing over there so I'm going to take my pages out I'm going to start with these two first so putting this one aside so it's a little bit easier to work with and I think I'm going to hide this picture on that card over there hi Deb good to see you too all the way from Canada <laughs> are you coming to the retreat maybe <laughs> so let me see I need to cut this in half and I'm just trimming them off and hopefully they will fit <laughs> on the card I think oh no it's only one I need but okay oh, a little bit smaller <laughs> okay putting this aside and oh no 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 I'm going to put this one over here and I also use an app I'm not sure if you can see it okay here's the camera and I wrote down the date and the name of the the village or the city we re we went to so um when I see this on its own it's okay but I glued this one down last week and it come fell off again so I need to glue this one down again and then the picture over here it's still missing something but mm, maybe I can add a little tap or so I am looking for my glue I'm using this one now <laughs> so I'm going to stick this one down again hi Cory good to see you <laughs> hi hi and I hope the glue oh no <laughs> it's stuck again I'm sorry <laughs> Oh, Debbie, no problem. <laughs> You're always here um, and you can watch the lives. <laughs> okay, this one doesn't want to do what I want him to do, want, want him to do. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just need a little bit of glue. Oh, yeah, here we go. That's better. Okay, I hope it sticks now. Uh, then there's this little picture. Uh, I don't think there's enough space to add another layer uh, underneath. So I think I'm just leaving it the way it is. And I might add a little tap or maybe, oh, maybe some washi tape. That might be fun to, oh, I think I will go for some washi tape. Yes, over here. That's the most easy thing to do. <laughs> Because I already prepped the pages last week, so um, I'm trying to add only some pictures now and maybe some other decorative elements, but not too much. Okay, so here's the picture. Confidential. Oh, that might be fun. Okay. And then it's ready to go uh, in here. I can do some journaling, journaling later on when I uh, I can add a little card on the back to do some journaling or take a, a black marker to write on it. I'm not sure. I think about something else too. I always like to do a little uh, border around a card when when I just miss something. So sometimes it needs just a little bit extra. To make it look uh, to make it look nicer, so just adding a few crosses over here. I hope you can see it, <laughs> and then a little line all around the card. Uh, if you like it, you can do it twice, but I think for this one now, one um, one is enough. So that one goes in here. In that same weekend, week week week, we went away camping with our uh, camper fan so I have some picture of 
pictures of that weekend too, which I want to document in here. So there are one, two, three, four pictures of that weekend. And I, uh, they were all uh, colored uh, pictures, you know, full color pictures. And I just, um, and how do you say it? Um, oh, I can't come up with a name. Okay, I altered them on my phone with an app. You can just slide um, or choose a different color or move them to change them to black and white. So that's what I did. I am also going to cut those apart and see if they fit somewhere. I now notice that I somehow um, forgot to turn off the rounded corners in the in the app, in the photo editing app. So they're just a little bit rounded, the corners, but I can cut that off, I think. I'm not sure. Maybe a portrait uh, picture would be much nicer here instead of a landscape one. So uh, I think I'm going to use this one and trim off a little bit extra of the of the edges. So I'm getting rid of those rounded corners, which I don't like to be here. So that one is going over there, I guess. And this picture, I'm not sure if you're able to see it, but the weather was getting really... Uh, <laughs> thunderstorms, rain, so it was really dark. I hope you can see the sky over here, how dark it turned in just a few minutes of time. So that one needs to go, oh, I think it's way too big. Maybe I can put one here. Let me see, oh, that might be fun over here. Just putting it here. And then this one, oh, I need another portrait mode. Uh, picture because these are all landscape and that's not what I was planning hmm not sure if I like this and I want to add this picture because that's a fun picture while we were sitting inside because of uh, the rain and lots of wind outside uh, what was my first event in Ede many years ago who is saying that Anya, Anya, where do you come from? Okay. So, this is a little bit wrong planning for me because the pictures are not um, landscape or portrait mode as I want them to be, but I can also use this one on here. That might be fun to tuck it in or put it on the back side and then I can do some journaling over here. That may be better because you know this is just the back side of the packaging but when you put a picture on top of it you won't hardly see it. Or I can add another card and I think that's what I'm going to do to make it look a little bit nicer because I've got all those leftover pieces here which I can use. Mm, or maybe a little card. Oh, I can do that one too. I'm just going to glue it down like this and then trim it off. That's the most easy way to do instead of measuring and then um, cutting it. So I hope the glue... <laughs> oh, it's stuck again. I'm sorry, guys. And if I squeeze too hard, I'm always afraid that the whole uh, tip will fell, fall off. So I'm not giving uh, too much pressure. So it hopefully stays on, stays on. Okay, my plan is just do this, stick them together, make sure it stays on there <laughs> and then trim off the edges. That works a little bit quicker for me instead of measuring and then cutting it with a paper trimmer. Um, this one, oh no, the other one. This one is a little bit smaller, you see? So now I can choose uh, which way I want to have the picture or which way, which way, sorry, I want to do the journaling. I also need some of my um, ink. Great burlap, here we go again. I need to do something on the edges, otherwise it's not complete. Oh, in the meantime, I 
try to read your comments. Yes, dark clouds. <laughs> they really were dark clouds. Okay, I think I'm going to do the picture on my backside. Okay. Oh, the wrong one again. <laughs> this one here or on that side? Well, actually, it's not really a big difference. The only thing you see different is the little tab piece on top of the picture. So I like this more, so I'm going to use that one, this side. And then I can do some journaling on the back uh, later to tell a little bit more about the weekend over there. Yeah. And as I'm thinking, I am also going to make a little border with the marker or the gel pen. So it all comes a little bit more together with this picture and I maybe can do another one later on. So I think that's good for now. I'm going to slide that one in here, but now I'm having a little problem over there. I had one, two, three, I missed one more picture, right? Oh yeah, there's one over here. So I want them all to go together because it's all in the same weekend. And if I'm um, using her <laughs> uh, in between those pictures, that's not possible in my mind. So I have to put those aside. I think I'm going to use this space uh, for some journaling or maybe some um, a nice a nice stamp to add some text or something bold over there. And I must say I like this one too, but hmm, I like this one better. So then I have to make a decision. Okay, uh, when you browse through your planner later on, it's more interesting to see people on a picture than a dark sky. At least that's what I'm thinking. So. I'm going to keep this one for this pocket and I first want to start with uh, attaching those. So I'm moving it around a bit and I am just trying, oh my, a lot of comments. The landscape photo square, yes, I know, but then I have to trim off quite a lot. Where is it? Where are here? Because now you see all those dark clouds coming together in the in the middle, and when I'm trimming something up, it's not so um, spectacular anymore. So just leaving it the way it is. Okay, so this one will go here. I think I can add a little mat underneath both of those. Um, or should I do one? Well, let's see what I've got left over here. Some pieces of paper. Let me check because the background is red already, so then I want a lighter color, so uh, maybe something with, which uh, matches these, this color, the background, should come back over there. I have something here. Would it fit? Uh, not that side, but it will go on like this, so that would be perfect. And again, I can um, start trimming it off and make it to the correct size to start with, or just glue it down on this leftover piece and then trim it off with a pair of scissors or a paper cutter if you want. But this is just the way, um, yeah, how I would like to work. So it doesn't take up too much time for me to do this. So just with your scissors. For this, I am I, I love to use a, a big pair of scissors because then you can make those long cuts uh, and it's easier to, to cut a straight line instead of um, some smaller scissors. Okay, just a little bit of this side. Okay. Oh, <laughs> there was a piece of twine over here. I thought it was a piece of paper, but okay. And again, of course, some ink on the edge, edges. Oh, thank you so much, Karen. What? My blouse with the red paper. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a little bit red in my blouse. It's red, orange, and pink. Not sure if you can see that. Um, 
on on your screen but today it, it's raining all day over here really it's pouring raining raining cats and dogs as they say all day so this morning when i woke up okay i'm going to turn on uh, put on my um, sunshiny blouse <laughs> sunshiny blouse um let me see yeah the tim holtz long scissors belinda correct i'm using those too <laughs> Yeah, it's frayed burlap, my ink. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so you see, this looks so much better than instead of only using a um, picture like the picture on its own or just with a little mat. At least I like it better. Um, do, does it need something more? I mean, it's there's also a lot, there's already uh, a lot going on on this page, you know, with the arrows. The background, here are some pieces of paper, the circle over here, the cards tucked away over there. But maybe I can add a little uh, tap thingy somewhere. Mm. Mm. This might be, makes it even more busy, but okay. <laughs> Just go all over the top. I see something red. Oh, oh, this is a fun one too. Just a little red clip. That might be fun. Okay, just a little detail. This has nothing but might be fun too. To, oh, I can stamp the date over there. Yay! I see something red over here too. Well, this is just a, a plain red. No. Hmm. Not sure. I'm going to put it aside. I can maybe use it later because it's the same piece of paper as this. So it all matches up. Oh, there's another one. From those, and I did see uh, yeah, another plain one because these are really nice to stamp a date on or use one of the tiny uh, sentiment stamps. This is another one which I would be able to use, or this one. You know, we have so many um, little tabs and little element thingies uh, in the jo art journal collection already. So, oh, another one of those clips, Th these are really fun. And I just tuck them in my big box with all those little things. And there's always something I can use. Okay, I think I've got enough now. So, um, my planners. Yes, I'm going to use this one too. Also need some ink before gluing it down. So, this one maybe can go over here. And I like this one too, just because it's red. <laughs> But it always looks better with a, a touch of uh, distress ink. And you can tuck it underneath or I can glue it on top. I like when it's glued on top too, I must say. Yeah, I think I'm going to glue everything down like, like this. So uh, a, an extra tap over here and here does little clip thingy <laughs> die. I don't know by head from which set it is, but it's in one of the the Planner Essential sets. Yeah, okay. This is what it's going to be. Um, and uh, I want to tell you something fun, because next week, uh, there will be, uh, next Monday, I will be uh, showing you uh, my new release. So if you have time, please join me. <laughs> Next week, same time, same place, over here on the Elizabeth Crafty Science um, Facebook page. And maybe if I've got time and I won't forget, um, I can do a little sneak peek. But I will do it at the end of the, the live. Um, hi, Pat. Good to see you too. Started on trimmers. Trimmer. Oh, you were t talking about trimmers, guys. Scissors. With a laser line, it didn't work. <laughs> okay, Sylvia, I got you. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work. Hi, Sue, good to see you too. Yes, it's going to be the most exciting day of next week, Michelle. <laughs> I hope it is. 
Um, where is my red thingy? Okay, I think it's here. Yes, Inge, a new release. <laughs> I see now it's not completely glued down, completely straight. Okay, it looks better now, and I think I'm going to add this one. Oh, it might be also fun to use the tiny attacher. Yes, make me see. That one is over here. Or you could stamp something over here too. Hmm. Okay, no, I'm g I'm decided. I'm going to use some glue. So just in case I want to stamp uh, a tiny quote or something and that's a little bit hard when you are using uh, those staple things from the from the attacher so now I have still the possibility to stamp something on this little tab I think I will use this for journaling or maybe I'm not sure yet but okay this one is going to be glued down over here Let's see, something like this. And because I made, um, well, I set up the pages last week, it's really easy now to just add some pictures. And normally this is not really a way I, I work, but I see Annette doing it all the time. You know, she preps all her journals, um, even for a whole month or a whole week, or a whole month, <laughs> a whole year. And then she starts adding pictures later on. So that's not something I'm really used uh, of doing. But um, yeah, when I'm working with it now, I think, oh, it's not so bad after all. I only do this in the week, uh, in the month of December, you know, when we do uh, uh, the December day by day. Then I'm also making uh, um, all the pages for the month of December uh, and add pictures later. But normally, I, I, yeah, I never do that. But it's, it's really fun. Okay, or should I put this one over here? Why not? I can do the journaling here too. Uh -huh. Yes, okay, change of plans. This picture will come here, and then I will do the journaling over there. Because it doesn't go here, you know? It's, it doesn't fit at all. I can't trim off the edges, because otherwise I miss my brother-in-law, or I miss the text over here. So I think I'm going to glue this one down there. And now I'm not sure if I should use another mat to mat this picture. Um, the side pocket, yes. Um, Melissa, it's from the set. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. These are two slots which you can uh, put down on every page, on every card or whatever you want to use. And you can make those side pockets. So it's in a set. I don't know the number, but it was a summer set special. It's this one. And it has those little strips where you can make your pockets with. So this one goes here and there's a smaller one that goes over there. So if that's what you mean. <laughs> that guy is who is just back from the beach. Oh, Sue. Oh, okay. I need to mat it. Yeah, on red? No. Maybe black. Should I do some black? Oh, I've got this piece of paper too, you know. Might that be fun? Yes. Because this is just a pl plain um, craft cardstock. But I dis used distressed ink and I took, I think, what did I do? Yes. Okay. Um, I used ground espresso from the oxide. And then I also used aged mahogany uh, from the normal uh, distress inks. And together it gave this really nice vintage looking color, which I love, I must say. And I already pre-cut some reinforcers with those. So it might be fun when I start using those reinforcers. Let me see if that looks nice. Um, yeah. I'm just putting them down like this to see if it well if it looks nice. I've got those little circle thingies, yeah. And I think that's what I'm going to use. There are also those other little ones with a little uh, extra piece attached on one side. I like those too. 
So, but I think, no, okay. I'm going to use the ones with a little extra piece attached on the side. But I'm going to use three of the same one over here because I've got all those different ones over here, different ones over there. But now I can use this piece of paper to back up, you know, so the color um, comes back one more time. And then I can use the same reinforcers over here. Yes. How does that sound? Do you like it? I think I do. On red, yes, matte. No. So many comments, guys. I can't keep up. <laughs> Love the papers. Yeah, okay. I'm going to do it. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to glue it down again, just like I did before. Just a little uh, extra border in the same color. And now I see I didn't cut this completely straight, so I'm moving it up a little bit. It gives me a little bit more to uh, more space to uh, trim it off in a nice straight line. And I keep changing the, uh, my camera. So I was looking that way, but now my camera is in front of me. It might be looking <laughs> there. So I'm still not happy with my setup over here. So I keep changing the things. So if I'm not looking into the right uh, camera view, please forgive me. Because sometimes I don't know where it is. Okay. Yeah, I think this looks really nice because the same color keeps coming back here. So I can glue this one down. Would it be okay with some glue? Yes. I don't need to use the double sided adhesive for this. And here we go. Just pressing it down slightly. Okay. There's a little fly over here. What do you want? Go away. Okay, um, the only thing I didn't do is um, put double-sided adhesive on the back of the reinforcers when I cut it. I forgot. So, that's bringing me a little bit in trouble now <laughs> because I need to use some glue. But okay, I hope you are a little bit, have a little bit patience with me so I can do this. Okay, that's a little bit too much glue. I'm just uh, gluing them together, pretending like I'm gluing them together and take it off again because there's too much glue for one. I can use it for both. Let me see. Here we go. Then I need a little bit more for this side. A little bit too much. <laughs> okay, I might just as well take some other reinforcers for this side. So I'm all good with those pages or this page. Yeah, I'm going to do journaling there. The other one will go in here. I'm taking the bigger circle rings for this side. The bigger circles, the reinforcers. The basic ones. If you want, you can add a little bit more color to um, the already colored paper, but I'm not sure. I don't think you will notice if I'm adding a little bit extra fray burla. No, well, it brings just a little bit extra. I don't think you guys are able to see it, but okay, I will do the last one too. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can because you don't want to watch someone gluing down a couple of reinforcers too long. At least that's my idea. Okay, one more here. And then the last one. Hi Marlies, welcome, good to see you. <laughs> And that one goes over here. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. This is going to be my journaling spot. 
here is a picture of the two uh, or the camper fan and the, the caravan we were going out with then this picture i need to trim those edges off and let me see what else i can do with this one uh, i can also do some journaling here going i think i'm going to put um the picture on the, on the side so I mean, when it's in here, you can slide it out, turn it around and see what's there. I can put it on this side or I can put it on this side. I think I like it better here. It's a little bit more, uh, it tones down a little bit because when you're putting it down here, you see this. I like, normally I like it, but somehow I think this is a little bit better for now. Yes. And I think I'm just gluing it down the way it is, no mat, because it just goes into the pocket, you know. And later on, um, yeah, you just slide it out and you can see the picture. Okay, so more journaling space over here, but I think I need to add something so it makes it a little bit easier to, uh, to pull it out if you want. And I'm just thinking, there is this stamp saying pull from one of the previous releases. And I just see if I can find it quickly. Yes, it is here. Cool here. Hmm. It doesn't go uh, on one of the reinforcers, so that's not an option for now. But I like it. What I also can do is just, I'm going to stamp it, yes. Let me start with that. And I have been using these stamps so much, you know, all the numbers over here. So um, they fall out of fall off of the, the plastic sheet. So that's why I did it in a plastic envelope. So I can't lose them. So I need the words pull here. Oh, also being used very much. <laughs> and I see now I did cut it in half. Somehow I, some day I used it for something different, but it says, pull here okay and i can um, use them anyway i need a clear block and this little flyer you see it over here <laughs> it's bothering me okay just make sure it's a little bit straight next to each other pull here okay then I need a piece of paper, which, uh, yeah, not too dark, so I can stamp. Oh, there's another leftover piece here, you know, which I just used on the back side of this. It's the same piece, the leftover piece. I can stamp and then, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it straight first because that makes it a little bit easier for me to use. This is okay. Some ink. Where is my ink? Yeah, here we go. Oh, I think the stamp is a little bit dirty. There's a little piece of paper over here. I'm not always that <laughs> careful with my stamps. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, do I need an extra sheet underneath? Yeah, let me give it a try. I don't know, I think I'm going to use it now. I think I'm going to use it this way. And this little arrow, hmm, not sure. Okay, I'm stamping it and see <laughs> what it will look like. Okay. I think the arrow is a little bit too much because it will come out of the, the pocket on the side too far. Let me give it a try because when I'm going to attach this one to this piece of paper and I also want the arrow here, it's going, hmm, no, it's going to be too long. So um, let me see, let me see. Where do I want it? I think I'm going to attach it a little bit more to the top and not in the middle something like this uh, i need something extra so just cutting it off 
something like this, something to do. And make it a little bit shorter on the sides. And then I can see how it ends up, how it will look like. Oh, I need to trim something up on this side. I forgot, sorry. <laughs> Let me see something. So um, the arrow, the, the arrow on the side will be gone in a minute, but now let me think. I've got this little uh, corner punch. Um, not sure if it will work, but I, I'm trying. Yeah, it's not really pretty pretty because you see part of the arrow, but okay. If you round the corners, it's more like a tap. Do you think I can use it here or is it too big? Hmm. I am not sure. Oh yeah, I can do it. Because when I slide this one in a little bit further, it's no problem um, that this tap piece, which I just created, is a little bit bigger. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to do it this way. Why not? A little bit extra glue. And I'm trying to keep it in the same line as this one. So this is one straight line when you are seeing it next to each other. Oh, I forgot my ink, my ink. I could have been able to cut down a little bit more uh, so you wouldn't see the arrow, but then um, it will be a little bit more yeah, difficult to cut the rounded corners because then you will cut uh, from the text itself. So then I preferred um, yeah, to cut something away from the arrow and not from the text itself. Uh, to give it a little bit more strength, I think I will add a little bit washi tape on the back just in case it might fall off somehow someday <laughs> i don't think it will happen but you don't know and uh, now i need my scissors yeah here we go okay so just tucking it in a little bit further so um yeah you just say pull here and then everything comes out so this is going to be for journaling and this is going to be for journaling or <coughs> Should I look for a nice stamp to go over here? Hmm, I keep changing my mind, you know, but that's the fun of um, creating and being creative. You can change your plan <laughs> every time you want. There's nothing which you cannot do, just do what you like. Um, mask the arrow and stamp again. No, 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 no. <laughs> That takes up too much time, guys. I'm always trying to work as quick as possible. Um, and now I'm thinking if we've got one of those big stamps, uh, which might suit over there. Oh, it's a Dutch stamp, but I think I'm going to use it because we were having a drink over there. And this one says, um, it's a little bit a funny quote. It says, uh, we are so cute together, but the word we, uh, I changed it in wine. So wine, <laughs> we are so cute together. It's hard to translate, but uh, we were drinking a glass of wine over there. So this one will go over there perfectly. So I can stamp this one over here and then do some journaling uh, underneath. So, so you see what, what a difference a few stamps uh, can be, you know, adding some extra stamps. So don't forget it. When you finish your page, always use uh, stamp. Oh, that's the wrong one. I want this one, the wine one. And just to be on the safe side, I think I'm going to use my stamping platform for this. Because um, if you're stamping on a separate card, uh, like the one this one was, uh, you can remove it or throw it away and start all over again. But this one, this card is already stuck into my on my page. So I don't want to uh, ruin that. So to be on the safe side, 
I'm going to use this one. So I can stamp it again if it's not, uh, well, completely uh, the way I want it to be. I can, oh, I, I think I'm going to do it here. Let me see what it would look like here. Yeah, it's going to be in the corner. And then I can do the journaling on top. So the ink again. Oh, your comments. Remove the insert. Oh, no, it's fine, Angelique. It's flat here. So I think it it's, it's fine. Marie Claire, you love to use stamps. We didn't know that. <laughs> of course you love to use stamps. I've got a new ink pad, so maybe one time is enough. <laughs> It's not bad. Just a little white. Oh, there's a little bit piece of paper on my stamp. Okay, but I will leave it this way. It's good for me. Putting the stamp on the side over here. Oh. Okay, what time is it? Oh, we've got 15 minutes. Okay, I'm going to put it back in my journal so you can see a little bit what it's going to look like. It looks so much different, I always think, when you put it back in your journal. Uh, I quite like what I see. It needs a little stamp here, and I'm going to use the date stamp. Uh, it says July 15, and I'm not sure if this was on the same day. Uh, I think it was. 15, 16, 14. Uh, May, June, July, and then what did I say? 15. I will do that. 14, 15. Taking it out again. <laughs> and I'm always stamping it on a piece of paper first to see if I've, I've got the correct date. And just eyeballing where I want it to be on this little tab on the side and hopefully it goes a little bit straight yeah not bad okay and you see how uh, different it looks with only a stamp over here um, I might be looking for something over there but I'm not sure which one yet so oh the sneak peek yes 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 the sneak peek and my week number oh I need my week number too okay I think um, this one goes here. I'm going to finish with my week number. And then I'm going to show you the sneak peek. And if I've got some time, I will continue on the next uh, page. How does that sound? A uh, week, 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 week. Oh, where I'm going to put my week. Maybe I can edit somewhere here. Less space for journaling if I do that, but okay. We have to decide something. This was week 28, so I need, here's an 8, here, oh, here I've got an 8 and a 2. And now I need to find one of those round thingies, which matches uh, the pages a little bit. There's too much green and brown in there. I'm not sure if I've got one with a little bit red or a neutral tone. I might be using this one. Oh, this is a good one. But now I also need a net for the, for this one. Not sure if there's one in here, and otherwise I will use it without a mat. There's a little paper clip in here, which is also nice. I can use it. I can cut it in half because I can't tuck it uh, on the back anymore because it's already glued down. What's over here? No, that's orange. Okay, I will only use this one. Putting this back in. Yes, Annemiek, a sneak peek. I will do so, I will do so. I'm going to cut this in half and then ink the edges. The time goes by so quickly, guys. Oh, I was thinking. I, I, I was thinking, I will be able to do all those pages, but I'm not. Let's 
and then there's only yeah there's a little bit less space for journaling but i need my week numbers so this is going to go here oh dineke that's no problem if you're a little behind a little bit behind just continue just keep on going <laughs> and i was thinking week 28 yes it's 28 where is my tweezers over here and i am so happy now that i pre-cut all those weeks uh, in the beginning of this year already so you don't have to look for your die and and cut the numbers every time um, the only thing is that you have the same um, color every week or uh, yeah but that's something i like and um, if you yeah, keep using the same elements throughout your whole planner it all comes together you know at least that's what i'm think thinking okay week 28 another clip here now i think that's all good now shall i add this one no it doesn't bring anything extra or maybe here no there's already a clip here maybe on the back side no it doesn't need anything extra okay so two pages filled with pictures now uh, week 28 so this will be week 29 and i've got the pictures over here i'm not sure if i'm able to make it i'm going to show you one picture because um I did glue a, a piece on the back of this element, you know, this element has got two uh, photo frames which you can use. And then I did die cut this picture with the die itself. Normally I hardly do that because uh, pictures often really get those scratches from your plates, you know. So, um, but I did it anyway and I put a piece of, how do you call it, kitchen towel, you know, the paper towel things on top of the picture and it came out quite nice. Only it was a little bit too low um, in the die. So there's this white border over here, which I don't like, but I'm going to use the picture anyway, because I just don't want to um, print another picture and then throw this one away. That's a waste. So just gluing this one down as it is. And I already thought, okay, I will cover this border, the white border over here. I will cover it up with a piece of, um, washi tape and it says handle with care those little girls yes we can handle those with care so just trimming this here or gluing sticking this down over here oh it's not in the middle hmm i have to take it off i hope it works yes carefully because sometimes the washi tape sticks really really well and let's Maybe a little bit, hmm, it's a little bit, um, yeah, too neat, in my opinion, to put it straight, but there are two holes in here, so you can use your uh, one hole punch thingy, if you've got one, and then add um, those little reinforcers. I can use the same brown ones. Where did I put them? Here. I'm going to use two brown mini circles. Oh, is it on sale, the washi tape? Does everybody know the washi tape? It's really nice. It's in a box and it comes with uh, four or five rolls of washi tape in a box. And I think it's really cool. Sometimes I forget to use it, but when I do, I really love it. And if it's on sale, it's even better for you guys. <laughs> okay, two little rings, reinforcers over here. And then I am going to add some twine. Okay, it has to move a little bit. Oh, <laughs> Bum, bummer, bummer, bummer. Okay, we are good. Okay, just imagine putting in some twine a um, couple of times and then make a nice little embellishment to hang on it. 
hang on it. Uh, <laughs> add to it. Okay, I'm going to put this aside. So this one should come here. I'm going to add something extra. Um, no, I'm not going to continue with this on next week. I'm going to finish it myself. And then I will post pictures later on because next week there will be um, a new release. So, um, a little sneak peek. I think there are a couple of sets with new dice. Um, if I am correct, now I, I, I'm afraid to say it out loud because I didn't talk to um, <laughs> um, Els before the live. I know there's a set with dice, stamps, and um, stencils. I'm not sure about the paper, so um, no, I'm not saying anything about paper. Okay, sneak. I made something a couple of weeks ago already, and it's a round uh, pocket, a round pocket tag, and I'm going to show it to you. It's here. I added uh, two on top of each other, but of course you can also turn it around uh, and make one pocket on a, on a page, but I added uh, two of them on top of each other. And um, and there there are a, a lot of now a lot of how do you say it uh, quite some extra things which you also can use with the pocket. I'm not going to tell you now, but you can do more with this. So a pocket, and I, I added a picture over here and some journaling uh, at the bottom one. So this is one of the things which is going to be um, in a new release next week. So. Um, I hope you will also uh, join me, joining me then next Monday. I'm also going to do uh, a live on uh, Create and Craft with Els. That's also next Monday. Uh, but the live I will be doing on my own and I'm going to show you all the new things, all the new products which are coming out. So um, I hope you will also be there. And um, thank you for watching now, watching me tonight, uh, today, whatever you are. Um, have a good uh, rest of the day, have a good evening, and um, I hope to see you soon, okay? Next week, of course. Okay, bye-bye, ciao!